laws. Yahweh Shai summed it up in two laws. So let's grab that, Matthew 22, 36. It says, teacher, um, Matthew 22 and 35, one of them, an expert in religious law, tried to trap him with this question. Teacher, which is the most important commandment in the law of Moses? Yahweh Shai replied, you must love your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second is equally important, love your neighbor as yourself. And as we go through the hour of temptation, all right, it's best to remember these two laws. Knowing that through that, um, or knowing that on the other end, we shall receive immortality. I don't have that in my list, but we can also grab it, which this is Second Maccabees chapter 7. Verse 43, but the day of doom shall be the end of this time. The day of doom is when the Lord sends nuclear missiles down on the land, this land, America, and various parts of the world. All right, because they have pushed everyone to receive the MOTV, which is the RFID chip, and the beginning of immortality for it to come when corruption is passed. All right. So at one point, it's destruction, it's mayhem, and they come in immortality, which is Yahweh Shai. Right? We got to understand, and the last part where it says, and the beginning of immortality. That should be our mindset, the beginning of immortality. Right? Because the hour of temptation will come with cruel mockings, cruel tortures. All right, being on the run, however the situation may pan out. All right, but we got to understand the laws, right? To the degree, as Yahweh Shai said, um, love the Lord with all your heart and love thy brother as thyself. Right? And, we, and, and remember that through our actions of holding fast to the Lord, our people can be set free. Okay? Because somebody got to do it. All right? How wish I did it, and it's always written how we ought to arm ourselves like, you know, with the same mindset as Yahweh Shai. All right? So this is 2 Maccabees chapter 7, verse 25. And this is when um, basically Antiochus was being mocked by all the other brethren. So this devil, um, all the other Maccabees that, you know, died manfully for the loss. So this devil, you know, didn't have anybody else to turn to. So he turned to the mom. All right. What's going to show you that Esau knows us, you know, because, you know, Jacob, you know, their mom, they listen to their moms. But um, this is what the moms had to say to her son. Right. And the fact that the mom said this, that was go to show you how how much of the spirit the spirit of the Lord was on Jake. You know, because no mother, especially no Jake woman, wants to see their sons, her sons getting tortured. Alright? But she understood the assignment. So this is 2nd Mac B7, and actually I want to start at um 25. But when the young man would in no case hearken unto him. The king called his mother and exhorted her that she would counsel the young man to save his life. And when he had exhorted her with many words, she promised him that she would counsel her son. But she bowing herself toward him, laughing the cruel tyrant to scorn, spake in her country language 
spake in her country language on this manner, Hebrew, O my son, have pity upon me that bear thee nine months in my womb, and gave thee such three years, and nourished thee, and brought thee up unto this age, and endured the troubles of education. I beseech you, my son, look upon the heaven and the earth, and all that is therein, and consider that God made them of things that were not. And so was mankind made likewise. Salaki, one second. It says, Fear not this tormentor, but being worthy of thy brethren, take thy death that I may receive thee again in mercy with thy brethren. All right, because reincarnation is biblical. All right, as a matter of fact, when you understand reincarnation is biblical, that's another, you know, point to um, hold down the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. What's that scripture? Second Exodus 14 and 35 For after death shall the judgment come When we shall live again And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest And the works of the ungodly shall be declared Right? And the scriptures a lot of times talks about the um, The reward Alright? Whereas the works of the ungodly Their reward shall be fire and brimstone But the works of the godly Shall be uh, to be saved from the fire and brimstone, right? Got we got to remember these things again. The scriptures tell us that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. So this is Second Maccabees seven and twenty nine. Fear not this tormentor, but being worthy of thy brethren, take thy take thy death that I may receive thee again in mercy with thy brethren. While she was just speaking these words, the young man said, Whom wait ye for? For I will obey the king's commandment. For I will not obey the king's commandment. Which at this point, it was eating swine's flesh. But today, it will be to take the RFID chip. Alright, to forsake the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. As it is written in our law, thou shalt not make any cuttings in the flesh. But I will obey the command the commandment of the law that was given unto our father Moses by Moses. So I was actually reading this chapter last night, and in my Bible it brought me to Deuteronomy 32 and verse 26. Alright, and actually I want to get it in the uh easy English. No, it's 36, my bad. The Lord will judge his people. Yahweh will judge his people. He will be very kind to his servants. He will save them when he sees them weak and without help. Right? But we can't forget that the Lord will be kind to his servants. All right? Out of all his people, we know that the elect is going to receive the message. Right? Right? As is written up in Second um, Second Chronicles seven and fourteen, if my people would humble themselves, then I will heal their land. Right. So as us giving our lives until Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's us humbling ourselves to the ways of the Lord. Right. Because we got to remember, nothing, a, a sparrow doesn't fall to the ground except to be by the Lord. So essentially, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai testing us through this devil. All right. It's also written how the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. He turneth it whithersoever he will. So this devil is going to push the RFID chip because the Lord said so. He will save them when he sees them weak and without help. Then the Lord will say to them, okay, that was pretty much it. Let me grab it in the NLT.
Indeed, Yahweh will give justice to his people and he will change his mind about his servants. All right, hey, it's blessed to be a servant. We are blessed to be servants of the Lord. When he sees their strength is gone and no one is left, slave or free. And we coming into a time, like it says in Ezra, how um, there's going to be like a very few, a very few amount of people in the earth. See if I can find that real quick. Second Ezra 16 and 28. 16 27. So that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. For of a city there shall be ten left, and two of the field, which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rocks, as in an orchard of olives upon every tree. They are left three or four olives, or as when a vineyard is gathered, there are left some clusters of them that diligently seek through the vineyard. Even so in those days there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. So, in a nutshell, all right, is we're coming into the time to a lot of people is going to be put down. And the Lord is going to be looking upon all of that. So if a lot of people would be looking down, I mean, going to be put down, that lets you know it's going to be a very fearful, very scary time. You know? Nevertheless, his service is going to stand by him. Right? His service is going to stand in the fear of him. And that's power, man. That's power. That's, that's power on, on out of this world power. When you really think about it. Right? You know, but again, at the point of this lesson, in the hour of temptation, what did I say? The hour of temptation, a time to keep the law. Right? So that would be a law to remember. All right? Again, just going back over it. To fear the Lord with all thy heart, to love thy brethren as thyself. And if you love your brethren, all right, you would give your life. Knowing that your brethren shall be saved through your actions. Second Maccabees seven. Verse thirty one. And thou, and though thou hast been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews, shall not escape the hands of God. That's uh Daniel's eight and twenty five. Twenty four. But we suffer because of our sins And though the living Lord be angry with us A little while for our chastening and correction Yet shall he be at one again with his servants Deuteronomy 32-36 But thou, O godless man And of all other most wicked Be not lifted up without a cause Nor puffed up with uncertain hopes Lifting up thy hand against the servants of God For thou hast not escaped the judgment Of the almighty God Who seeth all things for our brethren who have now suffered a short pain are dead under God's covenant of everlasting life. But thou through the judgment of God shall receive just punishment for thy pride. Right? But I as my brethren offer up my body and life for the laws of our fathers. Alright? Romans 12, 12 and 1. All right, that you give your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. Beseeching God that he would speedily be merciful unto our nation. And that thou by torments and plagues mayest confess that he alone is God. And that in me and my brethren the wrath of the Almighty, which is justly brought upon our nation, may cease. And that in me and my brethren the wrath of the Almighty, which is justly brought upon our nation, may cease cease all right so this is a mindset that was said out loud for us to uh have it today right as i mentioned before the lord is going to come back with healing in his wings right so this is that mindset to carry us all right this is the mindset to carry us into the bosom of Yahweh Shai. 
For behold, the day cometh, Malachi 4 and 1, that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yet all that do wickedly, this is the day of doom, shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear the name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Alright. Like second um second as we said, second as seven. Day of, the day of doom is the end of this time and the beginning of immortality for to come. The immortality comes at the time of Yahweh Shai. Alright, which he's coming to save those that stuck. Stood so stiffly for his name But unto you that fear my name Shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings And he shall go forth and grow up as calves in the stall And he shall tread down the wicked But they shall be ashes under the soles of your foot Your feet in the day that I shall do this Saith the Lord of hosts Remember ye the law of Moses my servant Which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel with the statues and judgment. All right, that was pretty much it, man. With that, Lord willing, I can edify. Salutations to the elect.